Welcome back to Moho Quick Hacks. Today we're going to have a look at anti-aliasing and jaggies and how to uh, reduce them uh, without using the display quality settings in Moho. Okay, so let's get going. Here we have a character called Mahoney who I actually made for the Moho 13 release. Uh, feel free to check that character out. Um, she's pretty useful for learning some tips and tricks about different rigging me mechanisms and methods. So have a look at that. And uh, there's some pretty good masking tricks if you're not familiar with those. Now, with that issue, masking. When you do use masking, you'll find that you get, at the moment, uh, extra jaggies in the display. Now, you can turn off um, or on anti-aliasing to uh, try and reduce them, you can see with them off, it's pretty um, significant, especially um, when you move on further, you can see quite a lot of jaggies here. If you switch anti-aliasing on, it does reduce them a whole lot and it's looking pretty good. But if still it's not good enough for you, here's a little good trick uh, by using the NVIDIA settings instead. So you can find them in here in your uh, taskbar. And uh, what you do is you, know, no, um, you navigate to the Manage 3D settings and you select the program in the program settings. Here we go. And there, there it is, Moho. If you can't find it there, just add it to the list and it'll be somewhere in this list. So you'll notice um, that all these uh, settings here have some features for anti-aliasing. So you, what you do is you go to the top and you scroll down until you see anti-aliasing. And you start selecting them to go on and push it up. This depends on how good your graphics card is. If you've got a really good graphics card, then push it up. Um, otherwise, Take it easy with this, especially if you've got a laptop or a low range graphics card, then just, you know, maybe give, be very careful with it. And also, if you really know a lot about this, put some comments in the, lo uh, in the comments below and uh, enlighten us further on, on which ones are good and which ones are bad to set on. I've put all the anti-aliasing settings on and I put them halfway up at four times. Um, I'm going to uh, put some of these on. Some of these I don't really know what they do. But um, I do know that using the power management when you're using graphic intensive programs or animation programs, I noticed that in other programs that it has prevented crashes. So if you put this on, uh, maximum performance. So do that and then you make sure that you s press apply and you'll see that it hasn't actually changed Moho at all yet. So what you do is you shut down Moho quickly and I'll let you watch the Mahoney file um, as it's rendered while I restart Moho. And when we reload, same file again, we should see a very much improved anti-aliasing. There's no jaggies anywhere on this, even where it's been masked. Now, and you'll see also that the anti-aliasing isn't even set on. If I press on here, it makes it even better. So especially in a zoomed out situation where uh, a line, a stroke, um, will be improved with the anti-aliasing on. So there's my little tip, my quick hack, is to uh, improve the display. There you go, and you can see it playing just fine, plenty fast. So, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.